good or how many good do you believe? I believe that there's many different worlds. For example? It depends on the religion. I don't think anyone is wrong in what they believe. There is someone. Okay. So, is it possible to have two objective truth at the same time? Possibly, yes. Yeah, it's not mean. really. For example, uh, oh, you're, you're giving me food now. <laughs> I think you are chilling. <laughs> All right. So, it's not possible to have two different things at the same time, which is correct but contradictory. Yeah. For example, if I say there is a car, and you are saying there is no car, mm -hmm. we both cannot be true at yeah. the same time, right? If there is a car, then you are wrong. If there is no car, yeah? Yeah. Then I am wrong, mm -hmm. right? So objectively, there has to be one right and yeah. one wrong, right? So if, if someone says there is two God, and if someone is saying there is one God, both cannot be right at the same time. There has to be one right. Yeah. Yeah? So what do you think? How many God is, is possible? One God, multiple gods, or many gods? I mean, it depends on your belief. No, I'm saying I can think many things differently. I yeah. can think I'm a king of uh, the UK. It doesn't make me king, right? Yeah. So it's my subjective belief. So okay. objectively, I'm not a king. I'm yeah. just a general citizen, mm -hmm. right? Subjectively, maybe I can think in a subjective way that's in my subjective reality, then I'm a king. Yeah. So how do you understand the subjective and objective reality? Okay, fine. For example, as I said, there's so the... What you, what you believe, I suppose. I'm Muslim. Yeah. yeah. We believe in one God. In Allah. Yeah. One, one God, one creator. And this creator doesn't depend on anything. He's independent and he's self-sufficient. For example, if God is not independent, he cannot, he cannot create the universe. Yeah. He cannot create ourselves, right? So, if God is depending on someone, he cannot be God, right? So, we believe in one God. Yeah. We believe this God is supreme, this God is most powerful, he doesn't depend on anything, and he is not equivalent to anything, yeah. right? In terms of knowledge, in terms of essence, in terms of nature, he is above everything, yeah? And we believe this God, what do you think? God should give us guidance or not? Yeah, of course. Yeah? So... We believe this God sent the guidance to the human being. For example, if you are a designer of a phone, it will like give a guidance user manual yeah. how to use this phone, right? So when you give a user manual for why? Because the users, they are new and they don't understand what's the function of this phone, yeah. right? That's the reason. Why about our life? Our life is more, more complex, mm -hmm. much more complex than any phone, any device, anything. Yeah. So don't you think that this God should send the messengers yeah, as teachers, right? So that's what God did. Yeah. God sent the messengers in different, different times, in different, different places. Mm -hmm. And are, different you different... The, are you the messenger today? No, no, I'm no. not the messenger, no. God messengers are those people who are appointed from the God, yeah? And they were preaching the true guidance yeah. of how to lead our life, how to be a good person, how to worship the God. Yeah. And think about this. In this life, we are for a very short time. Maybe your grandfather died, my grandf grandfather yeah. died, their grandparents died. We don't know our fourth grandfather, fifth grandfather. But at the, this, there was a time when they were young like, like me. Maybe your grandmother were, was young like you. But they had to leave the world. Yeah. We have to live in the same way. Our beauty will... We demolish when you think about it when we become 65 when we become 70 our like bodily beauty will, will not be there yeah. disappear and we have to be prepared for our death mm -hmm. so the thing is we believe this that we worship the one true creator who created everything and send the messengers will get the ultimate enjoyment think about it this life is not for ultimate enjoyment we have the fear we have the scaredness we have the uh, Sad moment, we have yeah. good moment. So what's the enjoyment? Enjoyment is when you don't have the, any interruption, you can enjoy by yourself. And we believe if you, if you follow the guidance of the God, the guidance of the Creator, this life, you'll get a hereafter, you'll get the ultimate enjoyment where there will be no suffering, there will be no sadness, there will be no sorrow, there will be no frustration, nothing. Only the enjoyment and only the enjoyment 
you will get by submitting to one true creator. Mm -hmm. So it makes, does it make sense there is a one creator who created yeah. everything? Does it make sense that this creator sent the messengers and, and the prophets by guidance, with the guidance, that's how to lead our life as a human being, yeah? And we said this, that all of the messengers previously was true, mm -hmm. like the prophet Moses, Jesus, Abraham, Adam, Ishmael, Jacob, Lut, all of them are the truth. And we believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and the final messenger. Does it make sense to you? Yeah. So if it does make sense, that's the belief of Muslim. If you read it, uh, if you take, if you, you believe in one God, right? You believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. If you believe it, that's the belief of Muslim. You can become Muslim, inshallah. So if you, if you, if you really believe in it from your heart, you can take shahada. Shahada means de yeah. declaring your faith. Then you can become Muslim. Once you become Muslim, your all sin will be forgiven. Whatever you did from your last all years, your all sin will be forgiven and will be you'll be considered as like a newborn baby who doesn't have any sin, yeah? And the thing is, you will submit yourself to the true, true creator. Does it make sense? Yeah. Do you not take shahada? Yeah? Not Why not? Now. Why not? What's it's the reason? A, it's a big commitment. I do understand it's a big, big commitment, but as you are believing, yeah, you know, there is a shaitan, there is a devil who will push, push you away. I would, I would like to read okay. before making the commitment. I've always wanted to read the Quran. Okay. Just to, you know, see. Okay. And then I feel like once you've read, then you can really commit. Yes. So I wouldn't want to commit to something that I don't fully have knowledge of. Yes. You know? I understand. Yeah, I understand. There's the basic of the Quran. The whole message of the Quran is there is one God who created everything, mm -hmm. who created you, me, everyone. He's most powerful, he's most knowledgeable and all that things. And he sent the prophets with the, for the all human being. And the prophecy was end by the Prophet Muhammad Islam, And he's the last and final prophet. That's the core message of the whole Quran and the belief of Muslim. If we agreed on this, you can take shahada, you can accept it. Then you can look into the Quran. And once you take shahada, if you take shahada and read Quran, every time you read one letter from the Quran, you will get 10 rewards. You see? So, I would rather read before. No problem. So what you can do... Did you take the Quran before? No. no. Yeah, so this is the Quran. And these books talk about concept of God in Islam. Mm -hmm. And it's about our purpose, our... What should we do? And this is about the three prophets, mm -hmm. Moses, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad yeah. Islam. I think you are very close to Islam. If it does make sense, read more. Mm -hmm. As you are saying, you need to read. But don't let the shaitan or devil come to you and stop you from yeah. taking the shahada. You know, the devil is the biggest enemy of you and me, yeah. for everyone. Shaitan, yeah? Bad. So shaitan will not be satisfied with you if you take something which is true. Yeah. He will try to... Stop you. Stop you, yeah, from, from the truth. Mm -hmm. So our duty is to understand ourselves yeah. and make humble of ourselves and accept the truth when you get the truth. And alhamdulillah, you see, that's the reason why many Western women, they took shahada, they became Muslim. That's the only reason which makes sense. Yeah. And Islam is giving the ultimate freedom. Yeah. Think about it, that's that you are showing your beauty to attract the men, attract uh, boys, or these or that. But he what, wouldn't what? be happy. I'm looking at my legs. Yeah. So why about, why about your creator? Yeah. One in one way you will accept your creator and make him satisfied. Another way you will accept the him. No problem. Take Thank care. Thank you person. very much. No problem. Thank you. Take care. Bye.